Hey, this is Tristan from Hip Cooks, and we are at West LA. And today I'm going to talk about cooking lamb chops. I have my lamb chop here in the bowl, and it's been marinating for about two hours in the juice of one lemon and chopped up garlic clove, and then some lovely fresh rosemary that I got from the garden. Probably about two sprigs this size. If you don't have fresh rosemary, you can use dry rosemary, but rosemary and lamb go really well together. So, marinating for two hours. I'm gonna turn on my handy dandy portable gas burner so that this gets nice and hot and ready for our lamb to go into the pan. One tablespoon, or about a half a tablespoon of butter and some canola oil, just a skosh. There you go. And the combination of butter and oil is nice. It will not, we want the taste of the butter. So adding that in there, adding the oil in with the butter will prevent the butter from burning. So that combination is, is, is a good thing. Okay, the lamb. Take the lamb out of the bowl and put it directly onto a piece of, this might fall into two parts, but that's okay. Put it directly onto a piece of paper towel and really work off the garlic and the rosemary that's on there. That's just been infusing the meat. We don't want to cook that because it will burn. So get off all that extra stuff with your paper towel and your tongs so that we don't end up with burnt garlic and rosemary in the pan. We'll make this into two. There we go. Now we have two lovely pieces. So just like with steak, the length that we cook the lamb will depend on the thickness of the lamb. This is about just under an inch thick. So we're thinking about four minutes per side. If you like it well done, you'll want to cook it a little longer. I don't like my meat well done. I like it medium rare. So this is all melted, it's bubbling. Take a little liquid. Wait for the sauce. It's splashing, it's ready. Okay, throw your lamb in. And I have my burner on about medium high. That's where we want it for those four minutes. And after four minutes, I'll flip it. Okay, our lamb is almost at four minutes. You can hear the popping, the splashing. This is kind of messy cooking when you cook in a skillet, so expect to have some fat flying. It's always good to wear an apron to protect your clothes or your arms. Um, cooking the lamb in the extra butter and fat, of course, is going to increase the fat content in your final dish. So if you're looking for a leaner preparation, you can broil it like I did in our How to Cook a Steak video, and that will lend to a leaner meal and also less of a mess. Okay. So you can see some of the blood coming up on top, and that's a good sign that it's about, or that it's ready to flip. Okay. Smoky. So I think I'll give this another two minutes from the look of it, a total of six minutes. And we can see that it gets really nice and brown in a skillet, and extra greasy for that yummy flavor. So that two more minutes, and we'll call it good. Okay, the lamb chops are done. I've turned off the heat. I'd say that was about six minutes for that width of the lamb. Six minutes in total. So it's ready to serve. I think lamb goes really well with asparagus. It's kind of a springy dish. And uh, if you don't know how to cook asparagus, you can check out that video, How to Cook Asparagus. Enjoy your lamb. Thanks for watching. If there are any other dishes you'd like to see me prepare, please send us an email at requestatmahalo.com. And in the meantime, check out our other videos.